Today we're going to give away stuff to people watching on the live restream. That means the next 24 hours. I'll tell you how in a moment. And we're also giving away La Tapa Yara for the ladies. If there's a person named Sonia Russell on this live stream, she will automatically win this. I'll tell you why in a moment. Let's talk about this fragrance. Today we have a lot of fragrances we're going to talk about from 2019, 18, some 2011 maybe. Some Prada, some 9 p.m. Nuclear Edition, some new stuff, some cool stuff like this Barbados. Kind of like a spring cleaning. I start to hear people come on. Let's start with the La Tapa Yara. So this is a female fragrance. Obviously, launched in 2020, the pink one. They also make a yellow one and a white one and an orange one. But this one is a delicate combination of heliotrope, orchids, and tangerines. It's sweet creamy and powdery and it has like a warm comfortable kind of make you feel good girly type notes going on it strikes a balance between eight hours longevity it gets highly complimented you could compare this that we're about to give away to a female compare it to like Dolce Gabbana the old red poor femme or Paris Hilton can can burlesque and it maintain, maintains its distinct personality though it's really good and it's affordable so we're going to give that away again if, if there's a sonia russell it's in honor of her and that giveaway is from a member of ours named lonnie b from akron ohio the next fragrance real quick is going to be hello ron g and alt this is called jimmy man intense here's the deal if you're just watching the restream and buy anything you can say hey unk can I be entered for Jimmy Choo Man Intense free giveaway? And you will, will pick one of you. So that will be after whoever buys something. I'll pick someone random for this. You put it in the notes. I heard you had Jimmy Choo Man Intense. Can I be the winner? And then well, you may or may not win. But everyone's going to be a winner because anybody that's been 60... Just letting you know before the stream goes, if you can just add this on for free if you spend 60 It's Flavia Viking. It's an up-and-coming company. This kind of smells like La Malle Le Parfum. So it's pretty cool. Here is our map edition one. This is another fragrance. I think it's old, but it kind of reminds me of Amber Crummy Fitch Fierce in the opening. And I'm going fast because I have more than 20 fragrances to talk about. Robert Graham Courage. Have you ever seen this? Is this correct? Courage. And this one is strong, strong projection. And it reminds me of this a lot. Let's see if I have it. It reminds me of Aqua Digio. Yep, right here. Let's see. Robert Graham Courage. He's like from the 1990s or 2000s for you old school dudes. Yeah, let's see. This is Aqua de Gio Eau de Parfum. I just sprayed. This is Robert Graham Courage. Mm, it almost smells better than that, to tell you the truth. Longevity is about five hours. eBay price, 100, 170. If you look on this place, this website right here, it's like 25 or 35. I can't remember. It's a good deal. So, next fragrance we're going to talk about is another awesome fragrance from 2019 that resembles, I'll get to all of you, I see you saying hi, I see the comments right there. Let's talk to you in one second, let me clear some of this out of the way. Hello to everyone and thank you for joining me, I won't waste any more of your time. This is called Al Harmain Amber Oud Rouge, which is a Baccarat 540 niche edition style clone, okay, it, it lasts extremely long. It's a masterpiece, what is Baccarat by Francis Kirktigen. And this scent right here has huge projection, long lasting, and it earned a solid star rating from all the fragrance aficionados. It's going for 60 or 70 bucks, but see, we're doing spring cleaning and the fall cleaning, whatever, to get ready for holiday stuff coming in. So there you see the line marker on this. It's just about, I don't know, eight or six, 10 mil missing from there. So they're selling this for 20 25 I think. More for this fragrance. It's been praised by the highest qualities, and everyone's intrigued. I like Rouge. 
but it's easier to wear than a ruby. Ruby has that bitter almond note. Uh, next one of my favorite clones of the week. For some reason, the weather is kind of cool where I'm at here in South Florida. I've been rocking Mandarin Orange, which smells just like Skandal. It just smells good, and it makes you smile. Odyssey Mandarin Orange is by Armaf. Very good longevity, decent projection, solid fragrance. And next fragrance we have is the Invictus Victory Elixir, which I've never tried. I wanted to know. So let's go on the comment section and see if we can get some comments going here. Starting from the top, we got Jonathan. Everything is Kung Fu. Okay. Whoa, you can't see that. Can you see his comment, everyone? Everything is Kung Fu. Ron G, yes. Rao Su, hey! He's the guy, this guy here. All right, let me tell you a quick story. We're not going to give you a full name, but he does, he's a rock star in a band. He plays blues music, and he wears like stuff like ombre leather, but he wears the clone, rare carbon. He wears stuff like Creed Aventus, but he wears the clone. So the other day, he was wearing Aventus Eau de Parfum, and a guy, a sexy wife, walked in the bar and held the door open for him, and she kept talking to her husband and made the husband go up to him on stage and ask him what he was wearing. And it was Parfum Club de Nuit Intense, five ounce. And that's a true story. He'll comment and let you know what else happened afterwards. Maybe he had fun or something. Check out the Territoire line. Territoire, I can't really find those. Only found a couple of them. They're kind of old school. But um, I think Amazon sells them. Is that correct, Alt? Gem Dealer, hey, Daddy. Dida, hey, everyone. Enter you. Okay, well, you're always entered, Raul. You know that. What's up, Unc? Someone somewhere. He's always here. F Torres. What's up, Uncle Chris? Hope you're having a great weekend. You too, my friend. Monday's my birthday. New York loves all your videos, and I love New York. I like that guy from Trax NYC. The jewelry guy is crazy, and you know him, F. Torre. Let me get that Jimmy Choo link. There's no link. You just got to spend a little dough, yo. Got to spend some dough, yo, and put it in the notes. Ron G912 Bulldog wants the Jimmy Choo. I spent 50 with you. Say something like that, and you might get it. Okay? The next fragrance, hey, one more, Fat Wong. Hi, I was here by Neil. He said to come and show support because you're eating tuna out of a can. Yeah, it is true, kind of. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Thank you for Neil. Rob King, late but here. What's up, Rob King? Okay, thank you for telling me that. Let me fix that just one moment, please. Sometimes I forget to update the codes. So let me just update that code, my friend. Real quick, we can get going here. Um, marketing, coupons, click. It's loading, it's loading. While we're loading, we Mr. J. Smooth, what's up? Chuck Daduces, Victory Elixir Fire. So coupons, live, 10, discount. And that thing... Is good till September 10th. No wonder it's not working. Let me edit that. We'll make it good for all you people on the restream. We'll make it work till September 15th. How does that sound? Yep. Update. Okay, try the live 10. You can try it now. It should be just fine. And you got to spend 50 bucks. That's all. Back to business. We got some fragrances to talk about. And we just talked about Robert Graham, how it smells like Aquadigio. We just talked about um, this Al Harmain, which is $25 on a declutter sale. And the next one we talked about was Odyssey Mandarin. And now we're going to talk about Tobacco Vanilla. <laughs> it's like $30. This is a beast mode fragrance, guys. I promise you, I promise you, you'll have to scrub it off your hands. This is amazing. I don't know. It's not hit or miss. It's just weird how they're, they're making these. This this is an up and coming. Thank you so much, Captain Nemo. Oh, man, thank you so much. You don't know how much that means to me. This is vanilla and tobacco. It's like you have to scrub it off. You start off. 
one spray I think is all you need. You instantly smell cinnamon, tobacco, and the vanilla comes in later, but it's like really, really intense and thick and robust, like massive cloud coming at you. And then I took a shower and this is awesome for 30 bucks. Anyone likes this type of fragrance, tobacco, vani, vani, tobacco, and you know, here we go again with the clones. It's funny. They are kind of, well, anyway. The next is Invictory Victus Elixir. I was just wondering if how anyone likes it. And has anyone ever tried this? This is called RMF Jungle, Jungle Boogie. No, it's called Bullet Hunter. Jungle Boogie is a song. Guess, anyone guess who sings it? And I'll send you something. Who sings Jungle Boogie? Jungle Boogie. So this one here is the green version. To me, I smell fresh, 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 citrus, citrus, citrus. Maybe it has a touch of wood or oud in there. It's minty, zesty, grapefruit-like, lavender, and, and then there's some earthy. I think it's the patchouli. I don't know. And it reminds me when it dried down to sedley, but, you know, anything can... It, that lavender is coming in like candy, you know, fruity, rose, a little bit of spicy geranium. And there's also a um, born in Roma going on. We unloaded a whole bunch of open boxes. They might not have the cap, but they were dirt cheap. You might want to look for Valentinos if you're roaming around. Now, here's a fragrance. I wonder what everyone thinks about this because I don't. Everyone hates the bottle. Everyone I, I've talked to in the Midwest said, what the heck is that? I'd never want that. And it's supposed to be like you're going to be, you're a skateboarder guy. I'm sure you would like it. But the actual fragrance itself smells so good. I mean, it's got this, it's kind of strong because I sprayed too much. But it's got this definite mandarin, but it's not, it's an orange mandarin, but it's a deep Deep, rich mandarin, orange, almost as, as if it weren't a ripe mandarin. Mixed with cardamom, mixed with orange and pink pepper, pink pepper, fruits, and lots and lots of lavender and ginger. No, you know what this is? I'm reading. I'm I'm thinking of something else. This has got cannabis. That's the note that's in there. Cannabis. You know, weed, ginger, pear, and leather. That's what it is. It's very unique. Two one two men hero. This is excellent, but the longevity and the projection is mild, so you got you got to respray after four to five hours. But it smells good; it makes you feel good. Deep, rich, green citruses with the cannabis leaf note in it, alongside leather and pear. That's where I'm getting that green note. Two one two heroes, cool sprayer, cool bottle. Only if you like surfing, but it's good stuff by Carolina Herrera. The other one I was thinking of is this. I've never tried this. It's called Venetian. It looks like this. This is the one that has mandarin also and pink pepper and lots of lavender. Sandalwood and patchouli. And when I smell this, it reminds me a little bit. I'm going to try it one more time. Yeah, oh, it's got some sweetness going on, like almost like a vanilla. It doesn't list that. And you kind of, what else has vanilla like that? Kind of like La Nuit de Loma. It's going kind of like into that direction. It's a $20 fragrance, so you can't lose. So, yeah, uh, really thinking about this again, back to this, if you ever like this, it does, it is sophisticated, even though it's got this little kitty bottle, and it's got a base of musk and leather, and it's just fire to my nose, but again, it's not like one of those things, oh, so, I'm gonna say hi to some people real quick, hey uncle, got a Baccarat Rouge 540 clone last week, that lasts a week, called London Oud number three. Oh yeah, I remember London Oud. That is, I remember that. We used to mess with that. Late, but here, where are you? I thought you were like in Missouri or something, King. No? 
And we got Mr. Smooth. Hey, Uncle. He told us London Nude is good. And Jacques Bogart One Man Show Ruby Edition. Ishmael, you like those strong fragrances. Conquestador bought Aslan Blue. And a day later, you lowered the price. No, it's not. Well, yeah, I guess you could concern me, but that's because I eat out of a can and I need money. Anyway, Conquestador, you mention that next time you buy something. And I'll throw in something. I, I'm, I'm a one-man show myself. I'll be honest. You know, I'm on a budget. I can't afford to, to compete with fragrance discount sites. But I love to buy fragrances. And I try to give the best fragrances only on the site. Or like special deals. Like I found this Courage. If you look this Courage up on eBay, it's $100. I think we put it for $25. There is a couple people that help me, but not not too often captain nemo ahoy crew okay thank you again captain nemo i really appreciate that gift that's true raul said amazon got them yeah that's where you get those fragrances they're called territoire i have been through do you crack me up you all right with me man i crack you up okay mandarin sky is one of my favorite sent to the day all your sport oh extreme that's really good kung fu you like bruce lee or do you like Jackie Chan? Hey, do you have any Arabian clones? Maybe. Uh, look at that. Super chat from Captain Nemo. That's the way to do it. Little shipping help, Unc. Thank you so much. Alan Molinier of Amaritas. You're in the Caribbean islands. Alan, he, uh, me and him are always chatting and stuff. He's talking about food. He's a chef. I know Alan for years. He told me, why don't I start talking about the cool fragrances again? Today, you might see some cool in the gang. AC Perkins, cool in the gang. <laughs> AC got it. So, AC Perkins, give me an email at this address, Gmail. Okay, you type this letters, this name of the website, uh, the YouTube channel at Gmail, and shoot me an email. Make sure you include all the information I would need to send you a free gift, okay? Yeah, Ron, you missed it. Sent to the De Alexandria Fragrance Lover. I wonder what that smells like. What about Hamid Addicted Intense? You know, that fragrance, I forgot I did a post. I haven't even looked at it. I heard it was really good, but the price tag is 90 So maybe people won't like it because you can get a really nice Club de Nuit Parfum for 50 60 I'm not sure, but unless it's like super strength, super projecting, super longevity, but still it's like they're they're one of those companies that are going to protect their fragrance brand, I think, at least in the beginning. I have spoken with some of the people there just about the fragrances and nothing yet, but they might send me a sample box to check out for you because I know you guys want to hear about it. Hamidi, is uh, their brother is actually an owner of RMF or the distributor of RMF, something like that. Can you describe the new Voyage Intense? I've been eyeing it, but not much about it. Well, Voyage Intense, talking about this right here. This is one of those, I just got it. It's not even open yet. Let me see what you're talking about, if I can find it on the website. Voyage. So I heard like Voyage came out. Oh, Nautica Voyage, thirteen ninety five. Voyage Intense is. It's an eau de parfum with lemon, pepper, orange blossom, ginger, laurel, jasmine, cedar. It's an absolute trip of a men's perfume. Probably. It sounds like it could be just a excellent blue freshie, possibly a blue de Chanel. Um, we'll get back to it another day, but it, it's only two left or 35. Yeah, they're voyage intense. They make all kinds of voyages, I heard, and I want to try to collect those too. There's this one fragrance I really know. I know you don't like expensive fragrances, but this one. It's called the Oros, the Inventor. It came out in 2019. Funny story is I actually did a video. I was at a convention and they were they were hyping this, you know, for at the convention. It was brand new and 
I didn't know anything about RMAP. I had no idea they made Club de Nuit Intense. I just saw this bottle. And what does it remind me of? It reminds me of Bleu de Chanel meeting Hasibat or something like that. This is remarkable. It's like a soft, elegant citrus. Let's see if we can get a close-up for you guys. Yeah, but the price tag, everyone's selling 200 300 It's an RMAP fragrance. It's too high, and there's nothing I can do. This is like, they have a whole line of fragrances. If you don't know that only like retail stores are allowed to carry, you will still see them on the websites, but the web owners get in trouble when they try to discount it cheap. Kind of like that private key stuff they just made. But this one is nice. Pink pepper and soft citruses. It's elegant. It projects nicely. It's just absolutely pleasing to the skin. And it's, I don't know how else to describe it. It smells like high-end niche, that's for sure. You'll really like it. Very easy to wear. Nice presentation. I think you're paying for the bottle. You know, this would be a great gift for someone, right? Someone that's brand new to fragrances, you give them this. Well, then when they need it more, they're gonna spend one twenty-five or whatever it costs. Made with crystals from Swarovski. So there's that. Sergio Medina, thanks, man. Best prices in the game. Carlos Tamos, good evening. Okay, Carlos. Abby Reyes, good evening, Abby. Is there any females on this stream right now? Please do comment. Jonathan, I love buying from Uncle. He always takes care of his customers. I just bought Mercedes-Benz Black two days ago, and I can't wait to get it. Sent to the day is Ben's The Move. Yeah, I love Ben's stuff, too. I don't have any to show you today. Everything is Kung Fu. Bruce Lee is my favorite. Yvonne Trudeau, any clones of YSL YEDP Intense? Not yet. Not yet that I know of. How unique and well worth is Al Harman Aslan Ud compared to Sauvage Elixir? I think it is 100% exactly like it, if not better, longer lasting. There's just something that Dior gets. They have exclusive rice to some uh, flower floral farms that nobody else can have. That's why their fragrances. You got Dior and Chanel are like that. They have exclusive rice to certain species of roses or some sort of florals that nobody else can have. And so does RMF. They have an exclusive right to some chemical the same way Dior does and Chanel does. And that's why nobody can replicate it. That's why Dior made Fahrenheit. Dior makes that one Dior Homme and Dior makes Elixir Sauvage. And then you have people that want to try to replicate it. And that Aslan Oud, in my opinion, is awesome. I mean, it just won't go away. You should. No, you you have tried it yet. Kevin Hawthorne, good evening from Lakeland, Florida. Hey, Uncle Paul K. just dumped on seeing you were there. Scent of the day, light blue, fuzz man. Hey, Oda Erica. Hey, hey, hey. My friend from South Beach or somewhere south now. How you doing, Erica? How's everything going? Good to see you. So they're going to move on. Let's see. We got this Chanel fragrance today called Egoista Platinum. was launched in 93. You've got Neroli. you got Pettigrain. you got Deep Rich Rosemary and Sage and Galdemum to make it last long. Jasmine and Oak Moth. That ever cedar. And again, Chanel, they own the rights to many of the ingredients and in their own species of them. Maybe they have their own jasmine that nobody else can use or their own neroli. Or... So you spray this on, made in 93, and you get hit with like a fragrance that nobody can replicate. And actually, this, I pulled it out. It's funny that you should say this. is called Boa Cute, and it's supposed to smell like that Chanel. And we'll see. I'll spray this card right here. And it goes in a direction, but they can't hit it. Hit, this one just hits the notes like like a home run solid hitter like in baseball if you hit the ball a certain way versus a guy who got lucky that's the difference but this is 20 and this is like 130 so 
know we got to talk about this in a second. You ever heard of this? Yeah. The fragrance is described as as Boa Cute is described as Mont Blanc legend sometimes. So some people call it platinum to Some people call it fierce. It does have a floral woody musky. That tall fragrance I was just talking to you about. And it's got some vetiver, cedar, and sandalwood in it. It's suitable for the office. These are like office fragrances. Perfect. Then this one is a new clone for Louis Vuitton, Ombre Nomad. It's called Ombre Oud. This one is a delicious raspberry note mixed with the oud, mixed with some rose and saffron. And it's incredibly long-lasting, huge central sillage. When you're walking around, you will get noticed. You go to the grocery store. It kind of reminds me of Tuscan leather or the One Mysterious Night, but it is an experience and it's like worth every penny. It's like this one I really like. This is like, hey, hey, even out of the bottle. Really good. Sometimes these fragrances get to me. So if you like tuxedo, I wanted to do a test. And just smell this tuxedo, or tuxedo YSL, the real deal. Ooh, ooh, boy, does that smell good. It's like this type, it's just like instantly your, your hormones go and you want to like do things. Then you have Kismet. This is a clone, right, of tuxedo. Uh, the Kismet is costs 30 The tuxedo is probably discontinued. Patchouli coffee vanilla and that vanilla in that YSL is off the charts. I love vanilla And then you smell it you get the same exact smell Boy these are like undetectable, but you can tell the YSL my German Shepherd's barking That the YSL is doing some justice and then you have ever heard of Womo Moschino it's a woody floral musk from 1998. I found it for like 10 or 15 bucks. Check that out. Just a good musky, ambergris, cedar, wormwood fragrance. Got some kumquat, citruses, and coriander, and Brazilian rosewood in it. Very clean and fresh. Supremacy silvers found for $19. If you like that Aventus thing, this is really cool. This is called 9 p.m. This is the old nuclear batch. There's probably one, two, or three left on the site. Check it out and grab it. It's the best one. And it smells like this here, just so you didn't know. 9 p.m. smells like that. Here's another fragrance that's really cool. Replica by Maison Margella. It's called Matcha Meditation. Photorealistic green tea. The green notes capture the true essence of the fragrance and it has a unique nostalgic to it. So you got some white chocolate, you got some florals, you've got a creamy sweetness dry down because of the courtesy of the white chocolate that's in here. You know what matcha meditation is? It's kind of a matcha tea gives you energy and meditations like calms you down but this would be good for the summer it's a harmonious overall appeal earthy matcha and i guess the meditation is from the the sweet part it's very long lasting on clothing it's like a tea gourmand like a tea fragrance you know tea fragrances are real light earthy and kind of fresh but it combines it with sweet notes so it's not bad calming you know just like the name is matcha meditation and i think it was 60 67 and at sephora it's 130 or 160. azaro summer since it's the end of the summer i just said hey let's bring the azaro summer out this opens up with a fresh burst of citrus zesty lemon mandarin a lot of people love this stuff because it has artemisia it's unique it's hard to find it's got a discreet presence, but it's always there. You know, you're wearing something, but they come in, they go, oh, what is that? You smell good. It kind of tells that Mediterranean story, just like the box looks. You know, it's got the, the Cook d'Azur or something somewhere in Mediterranean. You can't really see it, but not bad for 20 bucks as well. 
also I've been playing around like uh, doing cleaning uh, I'll be doing that the next couple of weeks this is called Prada Amber Intense and I used to wear Prada Amber and then I found this Amber came out in 06 this one came out in 2010 or 11 Prada Amber Intense is very masculine very long lasting exquisitely high quality ingredients from Prada we're talking about Italian bergamot, mir. Mir is almost like an incense, patchouli and vanilla. And all those strong notes combined with the vanilla is what I like. It's like sweet and spicy, hot, you know, hot, hot and spicy. Resins create a rich and intense aroma. Patchouli is kind of green and spicy. And vanilla warms it up gentle. So it goes rough, but then goes soft and gentle. It's pretty cool. Voyage Intense. We already talked about it. it's that blue lemon pepper. And one more that I've been loving to death. Oh yeah, it's called Karma. I've been messing with this all week. Just spraying it in this room. It lasted all day. I was like, what smells so good? And I remember I was spraying this yesterday in the room. And it smells like boozy vanilla. And for the price... I think it's $25. No, no, $35. It's pretty good. This is called La Tapa Karma. It's an angel shared dupe. And I don't know how they make these fragrances that last so long. And then, of course, one that I wear just at night or something. If I run to a sushi stop or something, it's called Killer Bullet Red. It's nice, sweet, syrupy red cherry with a touch of spice. Dries down to Mancera's red tobacco, 100%. And again, this Dark Rebel, I've seen this thing for $100 or more. It's 4.2 Dark Rebel Rider. It's what it's called. Barbados, juicy, like rum, boozy fragrance with some leather. Last decent amount of time. Very unique. I think it's... $39 or something. We got to talk to to a woman. Sent to the day sculpture. That's old school. Call me G's wearing sculpture. Fuzz man is wearing blue intense. Mr. J smooth. Mark thanks uncle for Rihanna Muskie. Ooh, I'm on my second bottle. You're old school Mr. J smooth. Captain Nemo the real nice guy. Alexandria Brooklyn fragrance lover is the best. Oh, they made a fragrance for him. It's the best I've tried as a dupe for Angel Share. That's really nice. Paul K. Scent of the day is RMF Mega. Damn good. I see Best Brands Perfume has a large size for 32. Pick it up, guys. Hey, thanks, Paul. Lou. Oh, there's Alan Mo Morinier. Sorry if I messed up your name. Unc Hamid Addicted retails for 37 in Maritas for a 3.4. Really? I think. That's very odd. Hamidi addicted. And it's the one that smells like Aventus, right? Am I correct, Alan? Because they told me it's going to be like ridiculous prices are kind of offensive. You know, anyone gets offensive when it's in, in the 90s. Thank you so much. My wife is watching with me. Well, Ranji, what's her name? <laughs> Ranji is like... Trying to kill it. <laughs> okay, we got Sukbir Gil. What is the best clone for Ombre Nomad? One of the best ones is called Oros Pure Leather. Second best one is called Risala Quatarat. Third best one is called Flavia Ombre Nouveau. And the fourth best one is the one I just showed you, which is called Armaf Ombre Oud Black Intense. I love my Dior's. La Tapa Yara is fire. I tried your Deep Sense recommendation. Smells pretty good. You're watching some good old videos of mine. I have 1,000 videos as of the other day. Anyone know any good sample size for Middle Eastern or less mainstream scents? Yeah, Senor, just uh, check out the website and click Declutter Sale. There's a lot of pretty cool deals there. Chirati Brown is one of my favorite for YSL Tuxedo, says Ivan Trudeau. Happy Sunday evening, Miami clone blogger. Hey, thanks for bringing over your friends with you, Miami. How are you? I didn't see you there, Ishmael. Tony K. 
keep it up. Um, number one, Beast Mode, Martial Artists. Hit that button for our 45 fragrance nephews. Thanks, Paul. Everything is Kung Fu. I have kismet. Who sings Kung Fu fighting? At the Banana Burglar, Christian usually sends a few samples of different fragrances with the orders. Yep, you're right. What's going on, Corey? How you doing? Hey, NH Rebels, what's up, nephew? Ishmael, what other actual Beast Mode fragrance CIs do you have on your site? There's one called Hypnotic Oud, one called Hypnotic Amber, 100% Beast Mode. And then there's one called Tabac Vanilla I just showed you at the beginning. That's a Beast Mode. And then Risala and Tiba is a Beast Mode for sure. Those are real strong fragrances. If you just you watch this on the restream and rewind it to this part, it's the 35-minute mark, just so you know, Ishmael. Fahil Farouk, hey, uh, have you tried David off Cool Water Parfum? How's the performance on it? I have tried it, and I really like it, 100%. I love it. Is Hypnotic Amber really good? Thanks for all your content. Hypnotic Amber is so brand new, you need to let the cap come off. I let it off for six weeks. I just forgot about it. First time I tried it, I couldn't smell it. I went nose blind. My 20-year-old nephew goes, dude, this is awesome. He bought it, and he's used it for like six weeks. And it starts out with beautiful lavender, like bubble gum, and turns into pineapple. And Oh, my God, it just lasts so long. It projects so well, 10, 12 hours. And on your jacket or clothes, five days. That's how long it lasts. Hypnotic Amber will sell out. The Born in Roma Yellow Dream went quick after you emailed me. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm trying to help you. Miami, Colombo. I didn't know you got a full presentation of Azara Summer. That's worth some money. I got like five of them. Help me. <laughs> Daniel Green. My dog is in his cage. He's mad. He can hear me. I'm sorry. Oh, that's not your... Alan Needy. Hello from Switzerland. Chase Manhattan. What's the best clone for Greenlee PDM? There's a fragrance called Al Harmain, but it's not Al Harmain. It's called Amber Oud. I think it's called Green Exclusive that replicates it. Not 100%, but it does a decent job. We got a guy here from Switzerland, Alain Nidi. What is the best projection beast? Dior Sauvage and Elixir. And then if you want the La Tapa brand, the Assad is good. And, uh, Al Harmain Aslan Oud is good, but really, the By the Fireplace one is called Hypnotic Oud. Is a clone for it. It's fifty bucks. It's a serious projection. Like one spray will fill up a whole room. No joke. Just take the cap off, let it wait two weeks, spray it out a little, then let it sit, and you'll probably smell it when you come back in your room wherever you sprayed it. It's that strong. Hey. Made it today. Man with sense. He's got a cool YouTube channel. Go check it out. Chase Manhattan. What's the best cologne for Greenlee? I think we just tried that. What is the best cologne for the girls? I'm in middle school. Comedy shorts. Mm -hmm. You know, they have this new Brazilian line. It's called Brazilian number 62, Cherry Lush. And they got this thing called Brazilian Bum. I would get that for you, you girls. Have you ever tried Zhirzhov Tony Lomi Monkey special? No. No, I never. Hey, Fuzz, man. I know who you are. I think I know who you are, my man. I bought my Asad from Uncle. It's amazing. Thank you. Is Risala and Tiba stronger and better than Afton at Supremacy in sense? It's at least equal to it, my friend. I'm looking for a good Louis Vuitton. Orage clone or close to it? I've never heard of that. Orage. Orage. Or Orage. Never heard of that. Is that something new they have? Well, there was some new Louis Vuitton, but the most popular is Ombre Nomad. But there's some more coming out soon. There's going to be some more, of course. Cocktail Intense is by Fragrance World. They said that they say they're doing a good job for the Angel Share, if anyone knows about that. I am Mike Durango. Of course you are. I knew that, my friend. 
I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I have to take care of my dog now, and I have a great weekend. Peace and love. Add yourself on a Viking. Get something. Help the uncle out. If you spend 60, add free Flavia Viking restreamers. Oh, yeah. Um, I got to pick someone. Okay, Ron G, the guy with, whose wife is watching, you get the fragrance Yara for your wife. So make sure you did an order or t email me. You got the fragrance. You win, my friend. If you are in the USA, you won. If you're not, you don't win. I'll have to give it away again. And I'm just going to give away lots of.